shove it let's get straight into it all right so it's all technique for the shove it we're going to have our back foot just on the corner of the tail here in between where the concave goes and the tip of the tail so the toes so the ball of your foot on your back foot is going to sit right there and using the ball of your foot so your toes predominantly you're going to put weight down so the tail touches the floor that's the first step weight down and to get it to spin 180 effortlessly it's like i said all in the technique so you're going to have that foot right there like that push down and swish it this way so it's going to go behind you like you're a cat burying your feet <laughs> so foot right in the corner there practice this standing still at first and then just swipe back like that and there we go so the technique for the shove it is literally all in that ball of the foot doing that is gonna get that to do that. And the more accurate you are with where you put the pressure, the easier it's gonna be and the less resistance you're gonna get. So for example, if you were to do it in the wrong place, if you had to put your foot right on the edge of the tail, it's gonna be so much easier to pop, but so much harder to get the turn. But just focus all of your weight on pushing this bit behind you. So it goes like this. To do it with your hands, it goes like this. You can literally practice it with your hands if you want to. Just swipe back like that and this, this foot, your front foot, is gonna be what stops the board rotating and you catch it with that foot. So you go like this. And that stops it, the back foot then follows. Right, so, if we used to do this with our feet, we'd have that front foot right before the front bolts, so like just before the front four bolts, and maybe at a slight angle as well. This just makes it easier to step forward and catch the board on the rotation. The back foot, like I just told you, is gonna go ball of the foot, toes, right in that pocket between the concave and the tail, and you're gonna swipe back. At the same time, aim to stop the board of this foot. Without committing, you wanna practice it just like this first. Try and stop the board around this bolt area with that front foot. That means when you land back on it, it's gonna be so much easier for you to get your feet like this instead of like this. If you land with your feet close together, way harder to balance, you're gonna get thrown off so easily. If you land nice and firm like this, it's gonna be much harder for you to fall over. So then the secret to really making it look effortless and lazy is to just do it like you're stepping forward. So the motion without the board is step back like that and then forward with this one. So you jump. I'm just gonna put that to the side for a second. So it's less of a jump and more of a step. So you got this and then this foot goes a bit forward to meet the board and it will end up looking like this. This foot will likely land first and that is how you make it look effortless because then it makes it look like you can just catch it with one foot and you don't even really need the back foot. This is something that you can practice really well by taking the trucks and wheels off the board and just having the deck or if you have a spare deck, take that home, put it on the grass, put it on the carpet, even on the concrete and then it's just gonna look like that. It's gonna be one of the things where it takes a while to get used to and it takes even longer to make it look effortless. The more you exaggerate out that back foot like you don't need it, the better it's gonna look. See how like my front foot steps onto it? And you can practice it in fakie as well because when you're going backwards, you get a good momentum of the board going that way already. Look how easily it spins around for me. It comes around so much easier when it's like that. And you have to remember every trick is like a muscle, right? So the more you practice this kicking that way, the easier the ball is gonna go around like that. 